we looked as far south as we could without getting to Mexico, and so we found South Padre. The sunny beaches of South Padre Island are the perfect destination for these spring breakers. They're far enough from Indiana, but without having to cross into Mexico. Well, a lot of the girls, their parents weren't comfortable with them going, not with all the stuff that's been going on right now. And so it just worked out that, you know, we can use our phones, we don't need passports, things like that to get this far south. These spring breakers from North Carolina and Texas say they also feel perfectly safe and have no concerns being just miles from the Mexican border. No, nah, felt safe the whole time. No, feel, a lot no. of security, really safe place. I'm a little nervous, but I'll get over it. No, I'm not <laughs> nervous at all. I feel safe right now, so we're good. Cameron County Precinct 1 Constable Horacio Zamora says county officials are making sure things are safe on this side of the border for the 45,000 students expected on the island this March. But he says the spring break crowds of today are nothing like those of the 90s or 80s, and he says it might have something to do with the insecurity in Mexico. It was a combination of many things. A combination, I think, of, of uh, the economy, the economy in Mexico, and... Um, we had a lot of uh, the spring breakers coming to our area, which would visit Mexico a lot. So that was another added attraction at the time. So with most vacationers looking to spend their entire week on the island, Samora says he and his officers are trying to keep things safe yet fun. We're looking to, to maintain uh, order uh, that we don't have any people, um, especially where on the north end where, where uh, you have uh, vehicle traffic. It can get very dangerous if they've uh, been drinking and driving and um, try to avoid any fights, try to avoid anybody getting hurt.